I was only six months into my IC career journey when I decided to try my hands on the CompTIA A plus one examination and CompTIA A plus two examination, which earned me the CompTIA A plus certification. You need to pass this two examination for you to get certified as an CompTIA A plus. Um, In a nutshell, what is CompTIA A plus? CompTIA A plus is basically an IT uh, module, an IT foundational module that helps you to verify how much you understand the um, hardware and software technologies, as well as cloud, the basics of cloud technologies and networking technologies. As a CompTIA certified engineer or as a CompTIA certified individual, you are expected to understand hardware technologies, you're expected to understand software technologies, as well as networking and cloud, as well as security technologies. You are also expected to understand how these technologies interact with each other and how they are being configured. In the CompTIA A plus 001 and CompTIA A plus 002, you are expected to know the software troubleshooting, hardware troubleshooting, as well as virtualization, cloud computing, and um, mobile devices, operating system, networking, network troubleshooting, and um, operational procedures. So you are expected to know all these things as a CompTIA A certified engineer. CompTIA A plus it's basically a general knowledge um, module or course that makes you function better as an IT support engineer or as a help desk support um, professional. The CompTIA A plus examination is seen or known as an entry level examination but I think this examination is one of the most difficult examination in the IT world. Yeah. Hello if you're new here welcome my name is Blessing. I create content around my areas of interest which goes from my IT career journey to my love for self-development as well as my love for lifestyle and I do a lot of cooking and a lot of other things in between I, I, I tend to put some travel videos even if I'm very busy to edit travel videos that I have if the things I've mentioned are things that you might be interested in then you should certainly do stick around and also hit the subscribe button as this will be one of the most amazing things that would happen to me today also do not forget to hit the like button as it will really help my youtube algorithm do well to drop a comment in the comment section if you have any questions to ask me and do not forget to share if you know anyone that this video might be helpful to thank you once again for coming back and for those returning subscribers i love you thank you so much for sticking around and i hope to see you continuously so let's continue the video unlike most other exams i have written i'm talking from my personal experience in this case unlike most other exams i have written this exam requires that you pass two different cores which is the um core one that's currently it's currently called the 220-1001 and core two which is the 220-1002 you are expected to pass this two examination before you can end a certification as a CompTIA a plus certified engineer if you pass one of them and you fail the other one you do not end certification it is important to put your energy in the core the core one as much as you will put in the core to examination before you get started in your computer a plus um certification journey i would actually ask that you choose just three just three materials study materials and stick to those three the most i mean you can have other materials you you know visit every now and then but you should actually pick three materials and believe in those three materials and use them most as compared to other materials that you might just be flipping through as for me i actually picked the um of course professor Mesa's videos was one of my pick my second pick was this this is the old one sorry i'm trying to make this to show okay 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 um i'm trying to make this show so this is the second one i picked this is um from this was actually the 901 and 902 this is actually from from the school where i went to which is the new horizon they gave me this and um i picked this as well it's from new horizon oh the lights i never knew the light was that harsh on my face interesting oh this is nice 
I use Professor Mesa's videos as well as this uh, material. This was the OO, this was the 901, which is not the current one. But because I already, I was already studying this, was about to retire, I had to stick to it. And then I, I used um, Mike Myers. Mike Myers was very helpful. I used him via the LinkedIn Learning. So I chose those three as my basic, um, you know, go-to materials. I finished all the videos on uh, Professor Mesa's website as well as um, all his um, other practice, um, you know, programs he has on his website. I also finished Mike Myers' uh, materials. So I chose my three being Professor Mesa, Mike Myers, and the book that was given to me from my physical classes. So pick three materials and stick to those three materials. Before you choose the study material, ask yourself, am I good at studying with traditional books or am I good at studying with videos? If you are good at studying with traditional books, then you do not need to use videos or you, you do not need to use much videos. You perhaps just have to buy yourself books that you know you better understand than for you to stick to videos. I mean, if you function well watching videos and you keep reading books, you might not end up understanding as much as you were expected to and you struggle in it. And so, what's the first thing you should do when you are studying for your computer A plus examination? The first thing you should do, the first thing I did was to get the computer A plus objective from their website. You can go to computer.org, you will see the objectives of your of the computer A plus examination and Get your hands on it if it means you have to print it out you should go ahead and print it out if it means you have to you know have it pinned somewhere you should have it pinned somewhere on your system or print it out and paste it in your study area just make sure it is handy just make sure you read everything that is on the objectives so like i mentioned earlier the computer a plus certification actually comprises of two examination for me i wrote the 001 first before writing the 002 the next thing you have to really do is to read you have to study you have to study you have to not read you have to study you have to really know this thing if you're really new to it if you're like me who actually went all the way from agricultural economics into it then <coughs> you would definitely do need to study you know, need to know the core of these things and not just read for passing you have to know it, you have to understand it you have to be ready to sacrifice your time for studying i was lucky at the time i was working a job that gave me time i was only reporting to the office twice a week and i had the time to study some days i studied for like eight hours five hours four hours some days i studied even longer like i would Study from morning till night, sleep a bit, wake up and continue studying. I actually put in at least four hours every day into my study. I was working as well, but I was able to chunk out four hours, be it at night, early part of the morning. I just make sure I chunked out four hours to study every day. Don't forget that I had already done the course with um, um, New Horizon Learning Center. And I was done with the course, that's a CompTIA A+, plus before I started studying for my CompTIA A+, plus certification examination. Studying is not enough. Studying the right materials is very important. Studying the right time. Understanding what you're studying is also as important. Another thing I did is that I went through the study lab. There's a study lab in the book. Um, I went through it and I tried my best to make sure I understood everything that was there. I also made sure that I grabbed as much acronyms as I could because most of the questions on the examination came in the form of acronyms and if you do not know most of the acronyms you might end up missing you know the correct answer to the question so it's important for you to you know know the acronyms as much as you can I had my objective printed out so I always went through the objective that was printed out and I compared it to what I know what I'm reading what chapter I am in how well I've understood the chapter so it was basically always it was basically me always comparing the objective to what I think I, I know what I have in my head and then what I'm studying and how well I think I'm understanding what I'm studying so it's basically all about the objective making sure you understand and you're able to interpret or able to um, able to tell someone what is in the objective able to tell someone how much you understand the objective 
when questions come you know flying around you're able to know what the question expects of you you're, you're able to know what answer the question expects of you so it's all about comparing your objective and making sure you truly understand the objective or if they ask you to compare and contrast you're able to do so they ask you to differentiate you're able to do so so it's basically about understanding the objectives so you have to know who you are studying from or you are studying or who you are studying with and know how you understand the person's way of teaching and make sure that helps you to understand what you're studying as soon as i was done studying the book which is this one as well as the uh, mike myers um, video, watching the mike myers videos and the pop semester videos I use a lot of um, flashcards, Quizlets. I went to Quizlets and used a lot of flashcards. I basically typed in the topics. And when I do, I see flashcards on different topics and then I go through it, I get to understand it based on each topic. So that's what I did with flashcards. The next thing that really helped me was um, Professor Mesa's um, study group. He has a study group where he goes live and people get to ask questions, people get to share their experiences. And that really helped me. That really helped to calm my nerves. That really helped to, you know, make me understand people's failure, why they failed and how I could learn from it. So Professor Mesa's study group was very helpful. So um, those are the things I use for studying. So back to, let's talk about the test. For the test, um, you have the multiple choice questions as well as the objective questions and um, performance based questions. For the performance based questions, it's basically drag and drop. So it's exact, it's actually a yes since I passed the exams, but I remember there were things on firewall. There are just some drag and drop questions and then you're expected to know this practical thing. So it goes beyond just having the you know the fear in your head, having to study and you know, you know, store some junks in your brain. It's about putting your hands on the desk and actually knowing what to do, how to do them and what should be where and how this should be so yeah basically you have the multi-choice multiple choice questions the drag and drop questions and then the objective questions no matter what make sure that you answer all the questions in the exams do not skip anyone if you if it means guessing please go ahead and guess sometimes you feel like oh you've answered a lot of questions and you feel like oh you're sure you're going to pass it doesn't matter how sure you are that you're going to pass the exams Whenever you see a question that you can't quite, um, you don't quite understand and you don't know exactly what the answer is, please guess the answer and just drop something there. Do not leave any question unattended. Know the objective, know it to your fingertip and also know how to implement everything on the objective. Knowing the objective is one thing, knowing how to implement the objective is another thing. So I would urge that you know how to implement whatever you have on the objectives. Um, yeah. What do you really need to do for this examination? Number one, you really have to put in your study time. You have to really study. Do not hold back. It's never enough. You just have to keep studying until the day you write your exam. It's not like a university exam where you um, get a 59 and then you pass a C or you get a 59 and you got get a B. No, this is an exam that is based on a particular percentage. You must get to that percentage. You must get to 75%. You must get to 80%. So for that reason, you just have to really study for it because it's not an exam of A, B, C, D. It's an exam of you either pass or you fail. You have to be prepared to pass the two examination. Like I keep hammering, it's not enough to pass one. You have to be prepared to pass the two and you have to pass two properly. And do practicals, you know, get to understand these things practically, not just the theoretical reading. Just know beyond just know beyond what you're expected to know as a matter of fact. Know as much as you can know. Also note your note your pot numbers. It's very important for you to note those pot numbers, and um, you don't have to cram them. If you get to really, really, you know, interact with them on a daily basis or interact with them a lot, you get to know them without cramming. Try to relate the things you're studying to real life scenarios, and that will really help you. Once again, please complete your objectives. Don't do halfway objective and leave the rest. Complete your objective. Finish up your objective. Finish it up. If you do not finish the objective, but I promise you, you might not pass the examination. 
so you owe yourself you owe yourself to finish up the objective and if you have to use practice tests which i did use please go over your practice tests over and over and over and over again even if you know it keep going over it and if you're using professor Mesa's um practice exams which i did as well um, if you fail anyone two days later go back to it try it again if you fail again go back to it so you just you have to keep repeating your practice test i took advantage of every free things i saw making sure that they are actually genuine and they are actually correct don't go use things that are that might be wrong and that will just you know throw you off guard um another thing you should do while writing the exams is that you should pay your attention to multiple multi-choice questions do not skip them do not answer just one um tick just one when you're meant to tick two or three when you finish the exam patient enough to actually go through again if you can and basically that is it and that is um that's how i actually passed my from chair a plus everything i did is what i just mentioned to you i did not hold anything back i studied a lot i in fact i wish i had a picture of my study time i open books everywhere you see me dumping this here dumping book here waking up my book will be next to me i will sleep off on the book like it was i read i read i won't like to read i read it was my first IT exams and um i didn't want to hear any story i didn't want to hear that i did not pass it i did not want to hear that i passed one and failed one and unlike other people who write one in January and write the other one in March or April, I didn't do that. I wrote the two this I think a week apart. I wrote one on a Friday and I wrote the other one on a Monday or Tuesday. So I wrote it just a few days apart. And I was wishing I could write the, the other one that same day or the next day because I just wanted to get over with I actually really studied. I spent a lot of time studying so I wanted to get over with it um yeah so that's it i hope my little expression on how i pass my comptia a plus will help you also get comptia a plus certification and i hope this helps you guys thank you so much for watching my name is blessing and i am always here to talk it and to talk about things that are of interest to me thank you so much for watching i am blessing and i'll see you in my next video bye and go and succeed